Let's look at the top headlines first. Manipur governor appeals to make Manipur free from HIV AIDS menace. Prevent HIV AIDS and drugs, everyone's responsibility, Health Minister. Hornbill Festival begins at Naga Heritage Village Kisama in Nagaland. And in FIFA World Cup, Croatia to face Belgium, Canada to lock horns with Morocco today. Good evening. Welcome to LETV English Primetime News at 6. I'm Utpala Longjam. Before giving you the news, we request you to follow the SOP given by the government. Wear face masks when out in public. Wash hands regularly and maintain a minimum distance of 6 feet between one person and another. LETV requests you to get vaccinated in time to protect ourselves from this virus and play your part in the fight against COVID-19. Now the news in detail. World AIDS Day 2022 is being observed today. The state-level observation was held at first on the Rifles Parade Ground in Imphal. Governor of Manipur, Lagadesan, Chief Minister N. Birin Singh, Health Minister Dr. S. Ranjan, Ministers, MLAs, officials, NGOs and people from across the state attended the observation. Speaking as Chief Guest, Governor said it is the responsibility of the society at large, particularly women, to have a greater involvement in the fight against HIV and AIDS to safeguard the future of Manipur. He said HIV and AIDS issue is no longer a mere health issue. It has covered all aspects of life, social, economic, legal, human rights and even political. The all-out and concerted efforts of the health officials and concerned activists of the state will not be sufficient in tackling this issue. The civil social societies have to be actively involved. Appreciating the role of non-government organizations and agencies during the last more than two decades in providing preventive services and care to the people, Governor said without the active role of the NGOs, the situation would have been worse. Governor further said that Manipur was the first and only state in, Man in India to have a state AIDS policy as early as 1996. Experts and intellectuals in this field shall give their suggestions and it will be of immense help to the society in mitigating the menace of HIV and AIDS in the state. Governor also appealed to the young people, particularly women, to become more and more active of HI aware of HIV and AIDS issues and also to participate actively in the fight against HIV and AIDS. Governor also launched HIV syphilis dual screening in Chief Minister's Health for All scheme and handed over testing kits to the state nodal officer. Significantly due to the relentless efforts made by the selfless NGOs with the help of the state government. I have great pleasure and satisfaction in making public the state AIDS policy of Manipur. I am informed that the state of Manipur was the first and only state in India to have a state AIDS policy as early as 1996. Now it is imperative to make uh, modification and improvements in the policy statement so as to suit the change in circumstances and trend of the epidemic. I do hope that the experts and intellectuals in this field shall give their suggestions and it will be of immense help to society in mitigating the menace of HIV and AIDS in this troubled town street. It is important to note but the statistics reveal that the magnitude of the problem in Manipur is not highly alarming at present in the sense that the number of innocent infected pregnant housewives have been significantly diminishing. If newborn children are infected, the future of Manipur would not be as bright as it should be. I suggest that the small children should get utmost care and protection in this regard. 
Chief Minister N. Birin Singh, while speaking at the observation, said it is not to celebrate the day, but to raise concern among ourselves of how our future would be. He said the state has been facing HIV AIDS with the support from all quarters. Though the rate of infection has relatively been down, efforts should be made to make people aware of how we can fight the dreaded disease. He further said that we should be very serious in fighting the disease and people living with HIV AIDS should be taken care with love. While pointing out the increasing number of injecting drug users, especially among the youths, Chief Minister said it is a matter of serious concern and all should join hands to stop such acts. Expressing concern about the increasing number of drug cases in the state, he said some antisocial elements are indulging in drug trafficking and government should not tolerate such act. All those who are involved in the act should not be spared, he added. Chief Minister continued that door-to-door -door checking of HIV AIDS will be conducted under the Chief Minister's Health for All scheme and appealed to the people to join hands in the efforts to fight HIV AIDS. High people, 18,000, 15,000 said, who are they? Karai karai the kanano is said, must you identify Dr. Kumar Thakpa? Hasana hai bide yada de koi yum yum zangar vikti wa suma thakpa to save the future. To save our generation, young people are not able to do the same. I do not know what you are saying. I quite celebration. See, no matter what the celebration, nothing is coming to observe those. When the concern, when the as if the mirror, the amount of the mirror, the concern, we will not pick up the stress that we are not watching. But again, I am not going to be able to enjoy my family. Can we have a beer? Is it not a beer? Drug ki rehabilitation ki center sing main main dada na sakar gaya ya bo yaun na pungkuk to budo to bigo no with the systematic norms world is ki boy ki lay diba do's and don'ts Bharat sakar ki lay diba do's do's and don'ts si ki port na yam si pa sila state government ki lay diba do's and don'ts si si na kanda ko ay nasi ki mirror na madito ng mirror kanda pa kona minsan si hajer ngay may ambulo si juge Health Minister Dr. S. Ranjan also spoke on the importance of greater awareness and coordination among all stakeholders to wipe out HIV AIDS from the state. Governor and Chief Minister also visited the stalls opened by the self-help groups. Five targeted intervention NGOs were also felicitated in the observation. On the other hand, Child Welfare Ashram also observed World AIDS Day today by carrying out a mass rally by the students along with the people of Jiribam District under the sponsorship of Manipur State AIDS Control Society at Jiribam Higher Secondary School. Speaking at the observance function, well, Child Welfare Ashram Program Manager H. Priyananda said as he has observed across the globe, the World AIDS Day Jiribam District also observed the day every year organized by the Child Welfare Ashram. He said as part of the observance function, poster campaign, wall painting campaign and mass rally etc. were carried out at different places of Jiribam district. The day is observed in order to show respect and condole at the departed souls of those who lost their lives due to HIV AIDS. He continued. Jalwalpra asam jadi bamba. Sindu na pergi tongat tongat bah jadi bangi pemham sing hai pergi ngarang koi auraga hari bau dia tu di tu jero tu di tu gi. Asih dah jadi jadi bangi pemham hai pergi barak circle di area amadi jadi bangi tongat tongat pemham sing dah wall poster campaign wall painting campaign lori na mass rally na sing bah thorum sing lori na ngasih jadi bamba pangtuk li maruoi na hari bau walis dia thorum pangtuk li bagi. Hari betul masih pangkul di bagi malam di hari bah es asal bi es hari balik na asina na aduna bagi lay kira bah singgi mafam dah kai kumna bah utpa amadi awa bah pungtuk bah orang ngasih malam di bagi mafam kudi makta ngasih pas Disember ngasih kita hari Disember kita angwang one asih ayoi walis de pangkul nari jadi bangki su ayoi salur pernah ngasih pangkul Two days long 28th National Junior Thang Ta Championship 2022 is being held from today up to 2nd December at Kumanlampak Indoor Stadium here at Imphal. 
Organized by Huyel Langlon Thangta Association, Manipur, which is affiliated to Thangta Federation of India, in this championship, players from 21 states, including Manipur, are participating. The rest of the states representing are Tripura, Assam, Maharashtra, Madhya Pradesh, Nagaland, Bihar, Jharkhand, Delhi, Himachal Pradesh, Tamil Nadu, Orissa, Punjab, Telangana, Haryana, Rajasthan, Jammu and Kashmir, Gujarat, Andhra Pradesh, Chandigarh, and from Uttar Pradesh are participating. Altogether, 185 males and 149 female players are participating. On the official side, 43 males and 11 female officials are conducting the championship. During this championship, all the players will compete in two different events. The first event, which is known as Funaba, will have Funaba Amma and Funaba Anisuba, along with the second event known as Kanglon Chatpa, where Thang Hai, Thanglon and Konglon Kutlon will be competed. Major General Gagandeep has taken over as the new additional Director General of NCC Northeast Region as an alumnus of Senek School, Kunjpura and the prestigious National Defence Academy, Pune. The General Officer was commissioned into the J JAT Jat Regiment Infantry in June 1991. The General Officer is rich in experience and wisdom, having tenanted various challenging command, instructional and staff appointments. He has commanded an infantry battalion in counter-insurgency operations and high-altitude areas, a mountain brigade in counter-insurgency operations and held staff and instructional appointments, which included General Staff Officer of an Infantry Brigade, Infantry Division, Brigadier General Staff of a Corps, in addition to holding important staff appointments in the Army Headquarters, including that of Military Advisor to the Vice Chief of Army Staff and Director of Foreign Division. He has served extensively in the Northern and Eastern Theatres and his impressive career record include ex excellence in courses, including the prestigious courses in defenses, Defense Services Staff College and National Defense College. The general officer is an avid reader, keen sportsman and carries a reputation of being extremely dedicated, industrious and professional. He has an excellent awareness of the topography and culture in the region and also has sound ground connect and can sense and appreciate the pulse of the region well. His assuming the, the appointment of additional director general NCC is sure to ensure a fresh impetus and positive trust to youth engagement activities in the states of Northeast region. The contemporary age dictates widespread and heavy reliance of current social ecosystem on technology. Nowadays, even the younger generations below 10 years of age can be found adept in utilizing various devices like smartphones. Therefore, computer literacy is a prerequisite to efficaciously strengthen our education process. Computer literacy is also a fundamental indicator to standard of culture and progress of a society and a healthy economy. This initiative by the battalion is based on a community approach to promote and spread importance of computer education in remotest areas of the districts. To this effect, the Menglong Battalion under the ages of 22 Sector IGR East distributed two sets of computers and printers to Kongsang village of the Menglong district today at Kongsang Outpost with an aim of ameliorating the primary school's learning process. The project was undertaken by the battalion under Operation Sadbhavna to facilitate I beg your pardon, facilitate conduct of classes in more prolific and interactive fashion. Distribution of IT equipment to the primary school of this far-flung village in Tamenglong district will also enable teachers in keeping abreast with the rapid change in teaching methodology and students in exploiting an augmented learning experience. Such initiatives by Tamenglong Battalion at grassroots level goes a long way in forging the bond of trust and friendship among locals and Assam Rifles. On the other hand, to commemorate World AIDS Day 2022 under the theme Equalize, Tamenglong Battalion under 22 Sector IGR East conducted awareness lecture for its personnel at battalion headquarters today. The lecture was delivered by senior medical officer of the battalion. The lecture stressed upon everyone's role in boldly recognizing and addressing the inequalities which are holding back progress in ending AIDS. The lecture also called for equalizing access to essential HIV services and implementing a zero-tolerance policy to stigma and discrimination in all health services. 
The medical officer also made the personnel aware of the precautions to be taken to prevent themselves from dreadful HIV virus and briefed them about the importance of post-exposure prophylaxis within 72 hours in preventing the virus from entering the cell system and the symptoms by which one can know that the individual contracted the HIV virus. With this lecture, Assam Rifles aims to propagate best practices followed by the battalion to end AIDS and to remove structural barriers and stigma and discrimination. It may be mentioned here that HIV remains a major public health issue that affects millions of people worldwide. Over the last few years, progress towards HIV goals has stalled, resources have shrunk and millions of lives are at risk. Division disparity and disregard for human rights are among the failures that allowed HIV to become and remain a global health crisis. It's time for a short break. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. of success. Get enrolled to one of the finest schools in Northeast India, Unaco School, Excellence in Education. Welcome you all to Unaco School channel in Far East, an exclusive co-educational residential school located on a sprawling 50 acres campus just 24 kilometers away from Imphal City. The school will be affiliated to CBSE New Delhi. Academic session will begin on 1st April 2023 for classes 4 to 8. Registration from at least an open for 2023 and 24 session. The legendary brand Vespa was born in 1946. The Vespa has a unique design with a V-shaped grille to complement its sleek cast. The Piaggio emblem at the front gives you the pride of ownership innovative appearance. The design was inspired by the Wasp, hence the name Vespa. Adom Garima Chadarkar Uyibra Supna Gimnet Kuntra Gimanunda Document Ichang Chang Vena Vespa Madi Epiriyagi Apamba Model Sing Supna Tagilupali Sing Tara Khaktang Puthok Pidu Na Loan Uyna Lowa Yabagi Kutong Chava Pizare Akupa Marul Kitama contact to Bira U 9089895330 Amade 9615823252 Tulasi Motors Private Limited Thangwevan Amade Sangai Pro Kudong Chaba C Mangan Biganu Masima contact to Bira U Terms and Conditions apply TV English News. Health Minister Dr. Sapam Ranjan said responsibility from people from all walks of life is a must to face drug and HIV AIDS in our society. He said transgenders lack no talent but they need to work hard to achieve their dreams. Minister Dr. Sapam Ranjan was speaking at the World AIDS Day Observation jointly organized by Transgender Health and Wellness Center, SASO and PATH under the aegis of Manipur State AIDS Control Society under the theme Equalize at Transgender Health and Wellness Center Office, Forum Pad, Imphal East, today. The observance function was attended by Genips Medical Superintendent Dr. Lokeshwar, Imphal East Deputy Commissioner Kumantem Diana, Manipur State AIDS Control Society Joint Director T.I. Abiram Wongjam, and Center for Diseases Control and Prevention Asia Regional Deputy Director Brian Kalodzaiski among others. Speaking at the function, Health Minister further said that people of the state have been able to recognize and consider the transgender. Apart from this, there will be development changes from time to time, he hoped. Minister Sapam Ranjan also said that transgenders lack no talent but they need to work hard to achieve their dreams, adding that people of our society need to play a vital role to face drug and HIV AIDS. The Health Minister assured that state government will take up various works for transgender to give the same benefits and facilities like others.
This is vision to make sure that every every section of the society, Manipur, every region of the, our great uh, state, the welfare has taken uh, care. So Aduna, it's important that we be brave. I think that's one thing we should use. We should be brave and pr be proud of what you are. Be proud of what you are. I think that is very important. I think Bonita has flagged the issue of uh, PMJY, uh, the transgender, uh, because uh, I was just talking with the Deputy Commissioner and uh, to, for this PMJY scheme. I think this has to be done with the Social Welfare Department in tie up with the State Health Agency. I will definitely look into it uh, in a very short, I would, uh, I would have a meeting with the Honorable uh, Social Welfare Minister as well and I'll, I'll call the uh, State Health Agency. As Nagaland celebrates the 60th Statehood Day today, Chief Minister Naifurio urged Naga political groups, the Government of India, GOI and other stakeholders to walk the extra mile as the state is now more hopeful than ever of an early solution to the vexed Naga issue. We also remain mindful of the Naga political issue, the final settlement of which we continue to wait for, Rio said while addressing the people on the Statehood Day. The Naga political issue predates statehood and has seen efforts by generations of people for its resolution, he said. He said that the state has seen immense progress in the last few years. Each one of us is now more hopeful than ever of a solution. He appealed to all the Naga political groups and the government of India and all others concerned to seize the moment, walk the extra mile and reach out to everyone with the spirit of understanding to make the long-cherished dream of our people a reality by bringing in the solution without any further delay, he said. Owing to the long-running insurgency and unsettled political issue, Rio said the state has had a very difficult time in the past. However, with the efforts of the administration, police and all security agencies, an era of peace and tranquility has been maintained, the chief minister said. Uh, while the Armed Forces Special Powers Act AFSPA was reduced to 15 police stations, the chief minister said the state is now geared to take full responsibility for all areas that were taken out of AFSPA. With the situation becoming even better, he hoped that the center would consider bringing out more areas from the purview of AFSPA. Further, he said the state takes pride in being among the states with the lowest crime rates in the country. The 10-day-long Hornbill Festival 2022 begins today at Naga Heritage Village, Kisama. Vice President of India Jagdeep Dhankar graced the inaugural function as a chief guest. It may be mentioned here that the festival is held at the heritage village of Kisama, about 12 kilometers from Kohima. Deputy Director of the Tourism Department, Kakia Ayami, said in the 10-day festival, visitors get the opportunity to catch a ride ringside view of all Naga tribes, their culture and distinctiveness in one glance. A total of 132 stalls have been set up in the Kisama, wherein 100 stalls have been taken up by the micro, small and medium enterprises and 32 temporary stalls. Besides the daily cultural events, a host of activities such as Hornbill Music Festival, Photo Fest, Fashion Shows, Adventure Sports, Night Carnival, Art Escape, etc. are lined up in this 10-day festival. Rashtrapati Bhavan is now open for public viewing from today for five days in a week. The tour is available from Wednesday to Sunday in different time slots between 10 a.m. and 4 p.m. Rashtrapati Bhavan Museum Complex to also remain open for six days except on Mondays. However, the gardens will remain closed until Udyad Notsav, annually held between February and March. The visitors have to pay 50 rupees registration charge per circuit. 
Children below 8 years will be exempted from it. All circuits will remain closed on all gazetted holidays. Visitors can book their slots online at the Rashtrapati Bhavan website. It's time for another short break. See you right back. Welcome back. Let's continue with the news updates. Peaceful polling has been conducted in the first phase of assembly polls in Gujarat today. Nearly 57% of polling has been reported at 5 p.m., but this figure is likely to be increased as final data are still awaited. The first phase of polls covered 89 assembly constituencies of Saurashtra, Kutch, and South Gujarat. A total of 788 candidates, including 70 women, are in the fray in this play phase. Madhya Pradesh Governor Mangubhai Patel, Union Minister Parsottam Rupala, Darshna Ben Jardosh, former Chief Minister Vijay Rupani, former Karnataka Governor Vajubhai Wala, BJP State President C.R. Patel, Patel, Congress Leader Parish Dhanani, exercised their voting rights today. According to reports, several prominent candidates from the ruling BJP, Congress and Aam Admi Party are in the fray in the first phase in Surat and Narmada districts. Known for tourism, textiles and diamond industries, both districts have been registered have registered good turnout. All the seats are likely to have triangular fight. However, in f few seats, the independent candidates may also impact the poll's result. Among others, the BJP fate of BJP, political fate of BJP's Vinu Moradia Mukesh Patel and Kumar Kanani, Congress leader Praful Togadia and Nilesh Kumbhani have been sealed today. For the Aam Admi parties, Gopal Italia, Dharmik Malavia and Ram Dhanok are the prime contenders from Surat. Three airports in India will have facial recognition technology from today with the launch of the Digi Yatra. The Digi Yatra system is designed for the contactless and seamless processing of passengers at airports based on facial recognition technology. While the project is targeted to include seven airports by 2023, the system has been launched at three airports on December 1st. The first three airports to have the system are Delhi, Bengaluru and Varanasi. With the launch of the new projects, travellers may pass through various checkpoints at the airports through paperless and contactless processing. All the processes will be completed using facial features to establish their identity. All details will be linked to the boarding pass. 
while three airports are already enrolled. Four others, Hyderabad, Kolkata, Pune and Vijayawada, will have the system by March 2023. Following the success of the system in the pilot runs, the DGRTRA will be implemented in all the airports across the country. As of now, only domestic travellers will be enrolled on the system. A one-time registration on the DGRTRA app is required using Aadhaar based validation and a self-image capture for availing of the system. India formally assumed the G20 presidency today for one year. Several events will be held across the country, including lighting of 100 monuments with the G20 logo to mark the occasion. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has said India's G20 agenda will be inclusive, ambitious, action-oriented and decisive. Modi said the India's G20 presidency will work to promote this universal sense of oneness and hence India's theme is One Earth, One Family, One Future. He said this is not just a slogan, but it takes into account recent changes in human circumstances, which we have collectively failed to appreciate. He also urged the citizens to join together to make India's G20 presidency a presidency of healing, harmony and hope, and added that during the G20 presidency, India shall present its experiences, learnings and models as possible templates for others, particularly the developing world. Touching upon the issue of environment and sustainability, Mr. Modi said for the healing of the planet, India will encourage sustainable and environment-friendly lifestyles based on its tradition of trusteeship towards nature. He added that India's priorities will focus on healing one earth, creating harmony within one family and giving hope for our one future. Highlighting the issue of geopolitics, he said for promoting harmony within the human family, India will seek to depoliticize the global supply of food, fertilizers and medical products so that geopolitical tensions do not lead to humanitarian crisis. India will encourage an honest conversation among the most powerful countries of on mitigating risks posed by weapons of mass destruction and enhancing global security. India's G20 priorities will be shaped in consultation with not just our G20 partners but also our family, fellow travelers in the global south whose voice often go unheard, he added. He further added that previous 17 presidencies of the G20 delivered significant results which includes ensuring macroeconomic stability, rationalizing international taxation and relieving the debt burden of countries among many others and India will benefit from these achievements and build further upon them. Now in some sports news, in FIFA World Cup 2022 today, Croatia will take on Belgium while Canada will lock horns with Morocco in Group F at 8.30 p.m. India time. Even though both Croatia and Belgium advanced to the quarterfinals of FIFA World Cup 2018 in Russia, neither of the teams has a guaranteed spot in Qatar's round of 16 going at this moment. Thus, this match is going to be critical for both of them. Croatia against Belgium match will mark the third match for these two teams. Croatia is sitting comfortably on top with four points. Belgium, the number two team, as per FIFA rankings, had a narrow 1-0 victory over Canada while they lost 0-2 to Morocco. Belgium and Croatia, long-time rivals, have played eight times against each other. The record is staggeringly similar for each of them. Each of them has won three and lost three while settling for a draw on two occasions. Canada has already been eliminated from the FIFA World Cup 2022 while Morocco is holding the second position in Group F at this moment. A win in this match will confirm Morocco's entry to the next round for the first time since 1986 whereas the Canadian team, who showed great resilience against Belgium, will pay play for pride. For LED TV News Channel, contact the email address info at LETV.in or 940 and subscribe to LED TV YouTube channel or follow us on Facebook page, Instagram and Twitter for more information about the channel. Before we wind up for the day, let's look at the top headlines once again. Manipur Governor appeals to make Manipur free from HIV AIDS menace. Prevent HIV AIDS and drugs, everyone's responsibility, Health Minister.
Hornbill Festival begins at Naga Heritage Village Kasama in Nagaland. And in FIFA World Cup, Croatia to face Belgium, Canada to lock horns with Morocco today. That's all we have for today. Thank you for watching the TV English News. Stay safe and have a great evening.